Mexico City. The main goal in this uh, in this work is to give opportunity to a lot of artists local and also out of town. We don't want to focus only in a specific group of artists. We're giving opportunity to a lot of people because we know that El Paso has a lot of talent. Okay? Uh, my name is Romy Hawkins and today I am representing Marta Zavala, who is the owner of the gallery, but in this moment she needed to be attending another conference. Right? So, myself, uh, Sandra Murillo, artist in residence, Elvira Costa Adriana Guerra, we are going to be attending you and responding to any questions that you have regarding the art. Rudy, is for me a great honor to catch you today, and I know that you want to speak with us today about your art. Well, my name is Rudy Lalo, and I welcome you exhibit that I'm sharing with Sandra Sala. Uh, as an aside, um, I am not a really great enthusiast of paintings, I was first paintings, but as I have seen these paintings, I really will make an effort to paint as good as he does, or as well as he does. Uh, now about myself, uh, I came to the United States all oh, more than 50 years ago. I uh, resettled in California, where I stayed 10 years. Then uh, I moved to New York, New York City, for 25 years. And during that time, I became interested in painting. And I took it out when I was in my, I think, middle 30s. And I'm a self taught artist. I produced a lot of art books. Very much uh, taken by the old masters and the impressions, which you may see with that. I got bored with paintings after four years, painting after four years, and moved to Florida. And from Florida, I moved to the Southwest and took up painting again, oh, about five years ago. Uh, it's purely as a hobby, and uh, yeah, so far I, I like it and I will continue. And uh, again, thank you for attending the show. Thank you. And I also want to let you know about uh, Andres Salas. Andres Salas is an artist from Juarez, and he is a self taught artist, and his painting, since he was 10 years old, his dad was teaching him how to draw, how to paint, the rest he was doing by him. Himself. Also, uh, he's, uh, he's been exhibiting in different galleries, Juarez, Museo de la Limba, uh, in uh, Rincón de Andalucía, Museo de Chamizán, and very soon, in 2014, he has been invited by the consulate from Mexico to exhibit his art, to make an exhibition. Uh, he always trying to paint with a lot of passion. According to him, he, he did say that even when he uh, didn't attend art school, every time that he's painting, he feels his, his, his feeling and, and transmitting in the piece. automáticamente me enseñé solo y me conocí muchas técnicas y me gustó mucho pintar y es algo que lo tengo haciendo desde muy chico hasta la fecha y lo seguiré haciendo porque me gustó mucho y es algo que es talento grande, claro y no nos gusta lo más, pinto otras cosas Muy 
quiero seguir aprendiendo más y el arte no tiene límites y en el paso en el cual Aquí tenemos al artista Andrés Salas, que es parte de una exposición aquí en el Gabe Rosa. Señor Salas, ¿podría platicarnos un poco acerca de sus temas? Los temas que pinto son que representan, por ejemplo, el estado de Chihuahua, la sierra de Chihuahua. Eh, me gusta estos temas porque de nuestra identidad de Chihuahua. Y este otro tema es la Oaxaqueña, que es de menos, en zonas estables para mí rostros indígenas que expresan una identidad en México y el talento es natural, es mío que sale de la, de la realidad pues muchas gracias por compartir su obra con nosotros es realmente uh, fabulosa así es que bienvenido a Gaby Rosa gracias, gracias. Good evening, here we have Rudy Leidelmeyer, one of the artists here at Solo Exhibition at Agave Rosa. Good evening. Thank I am intrigued by these three paintings here. Could you please tell us about them? Well, this first painting here is called Hollywood Beauty, Nothing is What It Seems. And uh, the first impression when you look at the painting is uh, of a woman's face looking through a kind of contraction. And actually, when you come closer to it, the eyes uh, actually is suspended in the air. The nose it says on the reconstruction. Uh, this part of the hair is on a placard as well as her mouth. So it's all in the region. That's what I tried to say. Nothing in Hollywood is real. Great. Thank you so much for sharing that. The second painting is called Schizophrenia and it's a little boy looking out in the darkness plagued by all kinds of uh, visions, horrible visions and the curtain coming down is actually the curtain of oblivion and the third painting is uh, going back to my younger days uh, when I was a naughty boy in Amsterdam uh, it is a picture of the ladies of the evening in Amsterdam. They uh, always sit in front of the windows uh, because the most know what they're getting. Uh, but in this painting, it's kind of an allegory of hell. The painting could be a poster, as you can see on the left and right side. Uh, the flames are consuming the poster. So they're actually a poster gentleman in front of them looking at them could be real people or they could be part of the poster. Uh, the lady in the back who is in the poster to me was Satan looking at her minions who are doing her dirty work. Uh, but everything is going up in flames because that's hell. And the curtains on the side and the top are also the flames of hell. That's why I call it the fire of damnation. I see. Well, thank you so much. You're quite welcome. Thank you. <laughs>